hello and a big welcome to all the viewers watching Soul to Soul talk show. Today, yet again, we have with our sister Denise from London and she will be with us in this uh, episode too. A big welcome to you, sister. Pleasure welcome. to have you with us. Thank you very much. Uh, sister, in the previous episode, uh, you introduced uh, to us what spirituality is. But uh, why is spirituality needed for everyone? I think that um, it's becoming more and more spoken about. Hmm. Spirituality is coming into the mainstream media, um, you know, especially also this idea of yoga. People feel that something is missing. Hmm. Uh, I think that part of it is to do with health issues. Hmm. People experience stress. They have stress-related illnesses, mm. uh, more and more heart problems, diabetes, various things like this. Then another thing that people are experiencing a lot is relationship problems. Mm. Difficulty in their relationships with their spouse, with their children, with their parents, with their friends at work, mm. within their community. Uh, people are experiencing anxiety, which they don't know where it came from. And all of these experiences mm. are causing people to say to themselves, I have to find a solution mm. and probably it lies something to do with spirituality. Mm. And so because of that, a lot of people started to um, think, well, they need to meditate. Hmm. Or sometimes people, they, they feel affected by violence. There's a lot hmm. of violence hmm. in the world today. And people themselves dealing with anger, dealing with domestic violence, hmm. dealing with um, you know, harassment in the workplace. And so these these bring up questions mm. inside people that what's going on? And the answers to these questions are sending people progressively more into the realm of spirituality. Mm. Because spirituality is about inner calm, mm. inner peace, inner silence. Spirituality is about knowing one's heart, Mm. oneself, gaining self-control over one's emotions and feelings, understanding oneself, mm. and also developing powers to manage more and more stressful situations that mm. are there in the world today. And so it's really circumstances that have been pushing people towards this together with something else. Mm -hmm. Uh, people are feeling in the world today that the world as we know it is changing so radically and so drastically, they're trying to make sense of it. Hmm. And the, um, you know, the world of science has been very helpful to people, but in some ways has raised more questions, more questions than it's right. answered. Yeah. And so uh, spirituality talks about a world view which is um, beyond the area covered by science. Hmm. And so people are interested in it. And as people become more and more interested in it, different terminology to do with spirituality is now becoming common. Hmm. It's very common for you to hear in a place like England or America, oh, your problems are because of your karma. <laughs> you see. So mm. this word karma, you'll hear it right. quite a lot. That's mm. your karma, you know. You have to just handle it. Mm. And so people are starting to be conversant with this. Mm. Or people say, oh, well, I need to meditate on that or I, I, I need to have some quiet time. Hmm. You know, and in businesses, you, you get um, 
prayer rooms or quiet rooms where people can refresh themselves internally. Hmm. And so this is really something that is becoming part of our culture. Hmm. And the other thing is that we have a very pluralistic society. Mm -hmm. There are people moving from one part of the world to another, huge immigration, emigration movement. You get, I think, uh, when I used to live in Los Angeles, uh, we had probably a hundred, more than a hundred languages spoken in the school system. Mm. And different communities from different parts of the world appearing in little areas around the huge city that it is in London, where I live now, is huge with lots of different ethnic communities, mm. different kinds of religious groups. And um, because of the huge difference, people are looking for what is the common thread? Mm. And so the word spirituality um, arises when we're talking about the common thread. Otherwise, people are kind of against each other because of the differences. differences right. A spirituality provides a thread of commonality that binds people together. Hmm. So spirituality is also very much to do with values. Hmm. And in the world today, people are questioning about why there is such a lack of values and how to bring values back into common interaction. Mm. And the source of values is generally considered to be spirituality. And so there's a lot of work that we do, and the work I was telling you um, earlier in another uh, conversation right. that we had, uh, we talked about uh, the need for developing values, and mm. values and spirituality go together very well. Mm. I see. Is, is meditation like the foundation stone for spirituality? Well, meditation is a practice. Hmm. Uh, meditation is a practice of focusing your mind and getting in touch with your soul at its deepest level. Mm -hmm. That's the first step of meditation. The second step of meditation is connecting with a higher power, a higher being, God, the Supreme Being, so that you can draw strength and spiritual energy, spiritual values into yourself. Hmm. Because people experience themselves to be depleted, hmm. spiritually depleted, you see. You know, somebody will say, well, I want you to love me fully. Hmm. And somebody else wants you to love them fully as well. And you find yourself saying, but I just don't have enough love for fulfilling all these people's expectations. And so love is one of the essential, quintessential qualities of the soul. Hmm. It's an energy hmm. which sustains people. But if you're empty, hmm. then you say, what happened? I need to fill up. You can't go and buy that in the supermarket. It's it not, <laughs> it's not, <available. laughs> not that kind of thing. Mm. So then you're looking for the source. What would be the source of spiritual love? So that becomes a higher entity, a higher energy, you see. And so there, the question of the supreme power, the supreme being or God arises. Mm because we are fundamentally, we are spiritual beings who are manifesting in physical bodies. These are our costumes. We interact with each other, but who am I? This deep question, who am I? This is what you consider in meditation. Who am I? Do you know who you are? No idea. <laughs> you say, oh, my name is so-and-so, right. my country is such-and-such. Such. Mm. That will give you something, but it won't really tell the depth of who you are. Mm. So these are deep questions to ponder on. And um, what is my place in the universe? What is my purpose? Do you know why you are here? No idea. You just got born, and then you do what you can, and eventually you will die, and then 
What is the meaning of all that? People want to know. Hmm. So meditation is to consider some of these deep subjects in a systematic way. Hmm. And so you need to learn how to meditate. Hmm. You know, one of the very interesting things about meditation is you learn to be detached. Detachment is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. Detachment means I consider myself to be a spiritual being and this body, this is a vehicle, mm -hmm. this is an instrument through which I perform. I'm an actor, I perform. But in meditation, you turn within. You detach yourself from identification with this body and you begin to identify yourself with the soul. Hmm. The soul is light. Hmm. Light. Very extraordinary light. Mm -hmm. Spiritual light, which is actually a being, or sometimes we call this the life force, the animating force that gives life to the body. You know, when somebody dies, Hmm. They say, he's gone. Who has gone? What has gone? Hmm. You know, that life force, that spirit, you see. And so meditation is where you start identifying with that. That I am that. Hmm. And I'm using this. This is mine. I am me. Soul located in the forehead. So we start thinking, okay, I'm a being of light. Hmm. And in Brahma Kumaris, you hear this word Om Shanti very often. Yes. Om Shanti. We mm. always say Om Shanti mm. when we want to say hello or goodbye or don't worry about <laughs> anything or <laughs> things like that. And Om Shanti is a very well-known uh, mantra in India. Mm. And in Brahman Kumaris, we say Om Shanti introduces the self. Om, the sacred syllable, Om means I am, I exist. And Shanti means peace. So my fundamental self is I am a soul at peace. Mm. So this is your baseline. Mm. So the idea is, okay, I am Om Shanti. I start off, I'm a peaceful soul. I come into action through the body. I talk, I do things. When an action is finished, like here we are, we're in front of cameras, we're doing this, we sure, have viewers right. and so on. Life is like that. We are actors, we do some performance, and then that scene is finished. So in meditation, between each scene, Om Shanti, just become peaceful so that every next performance is separate from the last performance. Mm. They don't run into each other. So you don't have to take out time for meditation, is it? Well, you see, how long is time? <laughs> you know, in a second, mm. you can say, okay, let me just stop. I am a peaceful soul. Back to your baseline. And then, next performance. Uh, some meditators meditate for long periods of time, mm, right. you know, and we do. In different parts of the day, we will dedicate to different activities. Mm. And so most of us, Brahma Kumars and Kumaris, we meditate early in the morning, mm. maybe for about an hour, mm. very early morning. We call it Amrit Vela, the n hour of nectar. Hmm. And at uh, four o'clock in the morning, you sit in deep silence. But why four? Uh, nobody will phone you up at that time. <laughs> nobody will bother you. All the other hmm. people in the house are sleeping. You have that very quiet time hmm. before sunrise. You know, all the nighttime activity is over. It's like an in-between time. Hmm. Very good time. We like that. And then the other time that we like to have longer meditation is at the end of the working day. 
and there's a pause in the day before you move into your social activities of the evening. Mm. So seven o'clock, half an hour meditation, we will sit. And this um, period is known as Numasham, mm. a dusk meditation. Sunset, the night is coming, the day is finishing. It's a very good time to just spread peace hmm. and, you know, unwind from the day, let the things of the day fall away, have a little quiet time with the self, refresh the self, because meditation is a refreshment of the self. Hmm. And then you go into your social interaction with your people at home, your friends, hmm. you see, because that's a very important part of your life. Right. And then during the day, in between times, we will stop and just have a minute of silence, mm. two minutes of quiet. Even it can be a few seconds. Mm. The interspersing moments of quiet through the day, and it refreshes you. Otherwise, everything mixes into everything else, and it becomes quite exhausting. Hmm. This way, meditation is like having a little cup of tea in between <laughs> things, and a cup of tea for the soul, you know? And so we like to do that. Hmm. And then the other thing which meditation is for, is you're going to review your day. This we find a very, very good, because, you know, what did you do today? Well, I have no idea, right? So <laughs> at the end of the day, okay, go back. You got up, you got ready, this was your morning, this was your lunch, this was your afternoon, this was your evening, how did it go? You know, take a look because one day in the life of a person gives you a pattern mm -hmm. of your whole self. Mm -hmm. And of course the aim of um, spirituality and meditation and all mm. this is to know yourself. Mm. You see, and you ask people, well, who are you? And uh, after a little while, there's a <laughs> no clue. <laughs> I really don't know who I am. Mm. How do you know who you are? Well, you have to watch yourself, observe yourself. What is your value as a human being? Mm. What makes you special? Mm. Uh, what is your importance? Um, why are you um, having this life? You know, what is your life for? All of these are connected with the answer to the question, who am I? Mm. So when you look back at your day, at the end of the day, uh, you, you get to see what kind of a character you are. Mm. Are you loving? Are you supportive? Are you jealous? Are you greedy? Are you interesting? Are you boring? You know. <laughs> mm. So all of these things we will look and we will give ourselves a self-assessment. Mm. Because spirituality is also very much to do with building your character. And so you want to really understand yourself right. by observation. Only then you can change yourself if you want. Yes, yes. Mm. We, we are free. We can be exactly who we want. But right. if we don't know who we are and we don't know who to be, then other people tell us, so you are this and you have to be that. And maybe that's not appropriate. Mm. You see, because in this world, other people are always telling you, you should be like this and you shouldn't be like that. And you have to do this and you can't do that. And how do they know? You see. So many people go along to this kind of preset patterning, mm. but maybe it doesn't suit you. Maybe it's not really true. You mm. see. So meditation, spirituality has to do with discovering the self. The other thing that's important is that the world we live in is sending us off more and more into a materialistic sense of self and mm. into materialism. And what we also have is we have a big economic crisis on our hands. Right. <laughs> you see? Now, these two things don't go together. Mm. 
If a person says, you know, my identity is determined by how much money I have, how many things I have, how many status symbols I have, how many cars, houses, boats, fridges, whatever it is. And if that is my value, then I'm a thing, hmm. you see. And so spirituality is like an energy that comes knocking on the door of your mind and says, hey, wait a minute, you're not a thing, you're a being. You're someone, not something. You see. Hmm. And so this then raises our curiosity that, okay, if I'm a someone, then what kind of a someone? Hmm. And if I'm a someone, then you're a someone too. I mean, how many husbands and wives know each other? I don't think they do, you know. <laughs> do you know your mother and father? Yeah. <laughs> to some extent, some extent. But only, you know, the bit that they show you. Right. There, there's the other bit that they don't show you, hmm. you see. And, and so really meditation encourages us to really discover not only ourselves, but who am I living with? Hmm. You know, what is it that makes that person tick? Uh, what are that person's values? Hmm. Um, what makes them uh, lovable, hmm. you know? Because it's not just, oh, they happen to be beautiful, and then what about when they're old and ugly, then what? <laughs> <laughs> right. You see, that's not the person. Hmm. That's the frame, that's the external. So in this episode, Sister Denise explained to us uh, why spirituality is essential for everyone. And she also in depth uh, described this practice of meditation and uh, we will be talking more about it in the following episode too. And hopefully you will join us in that too. Thank you, sister, for giving us your time. Thank you. Uh, thank you, viewers, for joining us in this episode. Have a great day.